Okay, good afternoon. Thank you for uh, attending uh, the presentation for in, in the inf on the info deck. Uh, for the master of science in industrial logistics system, uh, this is our program code. Uh, this program is accredited by two uh, association. The first is the, the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport in Hong Kong, and as well as by the Hong Kong Logistics Association. Okay, uh, this program, it is a good operative for graduates and working professional to achieve contemporary logistics skills and knowledge in full-time or part-time. Uh, so uh, there are two modes. The first is full-time. The second is uh, uh, part-time. I'm the program leader. My name is Jay Zhe uh, Now I would like to introduce uh, the data for admission to you, uh, Dr. Zhang Xiaozhe. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay. Uh, so for this program, um, myself and Dr. Zhang and also uh, Ms. Tong will work together to review all the applications uh to uh to review all the applications and to uh send the result to all of you uh after receiving your application uh now i'd like to introduce the course summary first i would like to introduce the course folks uh there are two unique characteristics uh for this course the first is that we emphasize on system integration okay system integration as you can see the name of our department is Industrial and Systems Engineering. We aim to use the tools and the knowledge and skills in system engineering to, uh, to train the student and uh, let them have the knowledge and uh, expertise to solve the real problem in logistics engineering in future. Then second point is that we focus on application of tools uh, we will deliver different subjects with different advanced and advanced tool which can be applied in industry directly. Uh, the area of study include a logistic, logistic information system, enterprise resource planning, uh, material handling and distribution system, supply chain management, enabling technologies. Okay. Based on this, we will deliver some subject and code it uh, that related to information system about resource planning, and not only about some theoretical aspect, but how to achieve modeling and optimization and design for the whole supply chain, the whole uh, logistic process. We also introduce some software, some advanced system for our students to let them know how to use the software in future and uh, how to solve the problem existing in logistics engineering. Okay, and for this program, it covers a certain credits. It means that if you want to have the degree, you need to get uh, 30 credits. So usually uh, each subject uh, has three credits. So you need to uh, attend at least uh, 10 subjects. Uh, and for the program structure, there are two routine. The first is so-called distension routine. The second is non-distension routine. So what does that mean? It means that you are free to choose either the distension routine or the non-distension routine. Okay, if you decide to choose the distension routine, okay, the distension, it accounts uh, for nine credits equivalent to three subjects, okay, because each subject cover three credits. Okay, so if you decide to choose the distinction route, uh, distinction route it, it means that you need to have four compulsory subjects, at least one core subject, at most two elective subjects, and the distinction. Then the second type is the non-distinction route. Okay, you need to choose four compulsory subjects at least the three core subjects, of course, including the IC550, okay, field trip uh, to uh, usually to different, uh, some major company, well-known company in China, 
and at most three elective subjects. You may ask me, okay, which one should you choose? It's up to you, okay? But it does not mean that dissertation will be easier than three subjects, okay? Usually, according to the feedback of some students that told me, it told us, okay, if you decide to choose a dissertation, usually it may cause, okay, you may need to use more time than that you may spend on three subjects, okay? So it's up to you. You should consider carefully whether you should choose the dissertation route or the non dissertation route, okay? So it means that if you choose the dissertation route, you may get uh, a lower score or high score, you may spend more time or less time. It's their many factors will influence your final score and all the final grade and also the time you spend on it. Final requirement of your supervisor and only your background about what about, how about your, the appetite and skills in you have, okay? Uh, I know some professors, some students, they have ever choose a dissertation, okay? Maybe they need more requirement for modeling or optimization, so it will cost more time. So once again, I would like to emphasize, I would like to remind you, uh, please consider carefully, okay, which one should you choose. For you, most of the students, they usually choose the non dissertation route, okay? They think that this is a normal way and also very suitable for most of you, okay? But it's up to you. You have enough freedom. Okay, and for the duration, uh, usually uh, for the full time, the normal is one year, for the part time, two year. But for some special reason, okay, it can be attended to 1.5 as maximum. For the part time, it can be attended to 2.5 as uh, the maximum. So usually, I think if you did your best, you usually can get the degree. For full time student, you can get it in one year, for the part time, in two years, okay? But some special case, it may be attended to 1.5 or 2.5 for full time and part time respectively. Okay, now I'd like to introduce the four compulsory subjects. The first is enterprise resource planning, Logit logistics information system, warehouse material handling system, supply chain management, enabling technologies. It means that every one of you has to choose these four subjects, okay? So-called compulsory subject, okay? Just like I mentioned before, they cover resource, planning, information system, and handle, material handling system, and also supply chain management technology, okay? We will introduce and also deliver some knowledge, skills, and expertise, okay? Not only about the advanced and the cutting edge zero or models, methods, we also deliver the, some advanced systems and also software to our students. And for the core, core subject, okay, including optimization modeling and application for this one, it usually have a requirement on your uh, on math, okay? If you math is not so good, you may not choose it, okay? The second workflow design and management taught by me, okay? And global operation and logistic, logistic management, risk and crisis management taught by Dr. Zhang, okay? And also for this one, it involves both the quantitative and quantitative, right? Yes. Okay. For now, for our subject, that like I mentioned before, some, okay, may have very high requirement on, uh, for now, your background on math, okay? But some, it will, um, it may include both some quantitative model and some qualitative method, okay? So, when choosing the code, okay, you should consider carefully, okay, how about your background, whether it can match well with the requirements of the subject. And uh, for the last one about business intelligence and data mining, okay, now we all know the AI, deep learning, machine learning, also called big data analytics, are uh, hot spots everywhere. So we also deliver the latest and also advanced model and method to our students to ensure that, to guarantee that they have, they will be trained to know how to use, uh, how to use AI 
including deep learning, machine learning, and also big, big data analytics tools to solve the problem existing in supply chain design and optimization in logistics engineering. Okay, for the elective subject, including finance process and performance management, okay, this one was delivered by our department, by Department of Industrial System Engineering. For other content, international logistics system, operation and management, shaping economics, marketing, and others, okay? With, okay, as you can see, the number of subjects starting from LGT, these are delivered by another department, Department of Logistics and Maritime Studies. Okay, and for the entrance requirement, okay, usually we wish that all the applicants should have, okay, should have a bachelor degree with honors in especially engineering, business, management, applied mathematics and science, or professional qualification or equivalent, okay? Or equivalent, usually a bachelor's degree. Usually we will also consider whether the ca candidate have appropriate uh, work parents, okay? Uh, you, I know you may ask me about the English language requirement, okay? If you are not a native speaker, if your bachelor degree or equivalent qualification is not awarded by a university where the minimum of instruction is English, okay? Then you need to satisfy either of the following two requirements. The first thing is that you can attend a test of English as a foreign language, okay? For the internet-based test, you need to get have a score of 80 or above. For the paper-based test, you need to have 550 or above, okay? Alternatively, you can choose to attend the International English Language Testing System, okay? You need to get at least 6.0, okay? So these are the requirements on language. For that, if you are not a native English speaker, okay, if your one bachelor degree or equivalent qualification is not awarded by using the medium of instruction, namely English, then you need to attend either of the two following English tests. Okay, and for the tuition fees, uh, for local students and non-local students, okay, for local students, okay, usually you, uh, the, the fees for each subject, okay, let me show you, is uh, 17,610 per, sub, uh, per subject, namely 5,870 per credit. So, just like I mentioned before, you need to obtain 30 credits. So in total, the program fee for the local student, it is, uh, it is 176, 100, okay? 176,100 uh, Hong Kong dollars. For non-local student, okay? The fee for each subject is 19,800 per subject, uh, namely, Six 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 thousand six hundred per credit. So times thirty credits. So the program fee for non-local student is one nine eight with three zero. Okay, one hundred and ninety eight thousand Hong Kong dollars. Okay, in total. So this is the difference. Okay, for local student and non-local student. Now I'd like to introduce the features of this program. Okay, the first, the most uh, uh, significant characteristic, the most significant feature is that we emphasize on interactive environment to enhance learning of uh, logistics system, okay? 我们引用了学习的四个自行研发的四个物流系统软件。我们呃呃，正如就是说，我们以互动还有游戏的方式为本，提高，比如说各位学生对物流的认知及学习的兴趣。We okay, have different uh, logistics uh, software and system, okay, which are very can attractive our students and let them feel interesting 
felt interested for all the problem related to logistics. Okay, uh, uh, what does it mean? It means that for time, if there's a case, okay, we usually try our best, okay, to to combine with the advanced software and system to uh, to let our students know how they can use this system to solve the real problem. Okay, the second uh, uh, significant feature is that, okay, uh, supported by the Microsoft Enterprise System Center, okay, we with three labs, including logistics and simulation lab, uh, digitalization center uh, lab, and business automation lab. Okay, it's our great honor. We have also invited some well-known person, okay, some well-known researcher and a businessman to give a uh, speech or give talk. For instance, we have invited the Sir Gordon, uh, Go Gordon Wu, Wu as, a, as an honorary guest speaker of this program. And we also invited, have ever invited the manager director of TNT Press Worldwide, and also invite the joint manager director of uh, Carry Logistics. Okay, wait a moment. Okay, thank you. And uh, for the field trip, uh, we have uh, ever, okay, take all our students to visit different, uh, some major and also well-known companies. For instance, in, uh, go to Beijing, go to Tianjin, uh, go to Shanghai, go to Fun and Coca-Cola uh, company, go to the Bosteel company and uh, some other well-known companies, okay, uh, for a uh, field trip study. Okay, uh, so in summary, we aim to deliver the, the advanced knowledge, including the latest uh, as advanced method models and also the advanced system software to our students and ensure that they will gain not only some theoretical knowledge, theoretical method, but also have some industrial appearance and ensure that they can uh, this can be used in their future job and uh, can help them to have a better future. Uh, so we will also take our students through field trip to different uh, companies, just like we mentioned before. Okay, now I'd like to introduce the student background. Uh, usually our students come from, okay, from the government sector and also different logistics companies. Okay, some are well-known logistics or supply chain companies. Uh, and these are the job title for the supplier, supervisor, inventory control, analyst, uh, and inventory controller, uh, and a system manager. Okay, these are maybe your future. Okay, for that after get the degree, the MSc degree from this program, you can also go to different companies. Okay, especially, I think that every company they need a sector about logistics or about supply chain. So this can be your future, uh, can be, and also you can, uh, this can be your, the position you can hunt for in future. Okay, uh, until now we have more than 1,000 graduates from this program and now working in various business areas. Okay, as for the application for admission, uh, it starts from September 22nd and also any at April 30, okay, this year. So uh, this is the, the website for online application. Okay, so uh, this is the, the uh, briefing for 
Mass of Science in Industrial Logistics System. If you have any question, welcome to uh, contact the uh, program office, uh, Ms. Louis Stone. And this is the, her telephone number and also email address. If you have any question, welcome to ask us, okay? Okay, let's have uh, a quick overview, okay? Some key points I would like to mention again, okay? Some key points, okay? Let first is that, okay, about this program, okay? I'm program leader. This is Dr. John for Dallas for the mission. Okay, have any question? You can contact us. Okay, we two will work together to review all the application. Okay, uh, that for like I mentioned, okay, program structure. You can choose a uh, distinction or non-distinction route. Okay, it's up to you. Th these are the requirements. Okay, if you'd like to choose the distinction or not choose a distinction. Okay, I have mentioned many times. Okay. It does not mean that dissertation will be easier than three subjects, or you will spend less time than that spend in three subjects, okay? So please consider carefully according to your own background and your future plan and your own interest to demand. Then these are the duration, okay? For usually for full-time, one year, for part-time, two year, okay? These are the four compulsory subjects, okay? For more, you can look for the syllabus for the subject, co-subject, and elective subject. And these are the requirements, okay? We have mentioned that usually a bachelor degree or equivalent or equivalent professional uh, qualification. For non-English speaker, all your bachelor degree or equivalent qualification is awarded by a university where the medium of instruction is not English, okay? But if it's taught by Chinese or by French or by uh or by Spanish, you need to attend. Okay. So you can choose either test of English as a foreign language or choose the international English language testing system. Okay, these are the requirements. These are the tuition fees. Okay, I mentioned in for local uh, for local students, this is the total tuition fee, program fee for non-local. Okay, so these are the main points I would like to uh, share with you. So now welcome to ask any question. Okay, you can send a message to us, okay, in the uh, chat room, okay? So you can uh, in both, just like I mentioned, in both English or Chinese are fine, okay? So welcome to uh, write to us. So any question, feel free to let us know, okay? Uh, myself, uh, Dr. John and also Ms. Tong will do our best to we will do our best to answer all your questions. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ronald. Uh, ZP Chen, Mr. ZP Chen. So any question? So any question, feel free to send a message to us, okay? Okay, good. You you're welcome. Okay, you are free to contact me, uh, Doctor John or Miss Stone. If you have any question. Hello, uh, Yat King, any question? Wang Feng Qi, any question?
You're welcome. Okay, so for others, okay, uh, you do not use your real name. Two, three, four, six, six, six. Do you have any question? Okay, Wang Feng Qi. I want to ask if the computation of position is key or not. Okay, we uh we usually yes, we usually receive many applications. Okay. So we will uh just like I mentioned before, the basic requirement is a bachelor degree, okay, and all equivalent qualification. Uh, and also the requirement on English. So we will also see some other aspect, for instance, about your, uh, the GP of the student and also whether he or she have some awards and all some other factor, okay? So in one way, it does not mean that if you can satisfy the best requirement, it does not mean that you will get the offer. So any other question? So Wang Feng Qi, any other questions? You're welcome. So if you decide to apply, uh, please try your best to uh, submit the application as soon as possible. So two, three, four, no question. So how about the last one? Six, six, six. Any question? She already replied. Okay, okay, okay. No question. So it seems that now of you have any question. Okay, right? Louis, right? I see two, you can see one feng qi, two, three, four, six, six, six. And also uh eight king. None of them have any question. Okay. So good. Uh so if you have any question, just feel free to write to us, okay? Okay, I'll write down, okay? If you have any question, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to write to us. Okay, thank you. So if no question, you are free to leave, okay? So thank you. Uh, just like I mentioned, any question, just feel free to let us know. Okay, thank you, thank you, bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, okay, this is the uh, Miss Tong, this is the Dr. Zhang, bye -bye. okay? Maybe we will see you uh, next year. This year, this year, right? <laughs> this year, this year, okay? Yeah. In September this year. Okay, looking forward to see our year.